be. No, I had a spicy curry for lunch. I feel like I could shit myself at any moment. Uh, back the fuck up. <laughs> when did this become a whorehouse? It's time to rant. Oh my goodness. Um. <sighs> Oh man, okay, 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 okay. I saw these TikToks and these TikToks really pissed me off. And I, I, this isn't the first time I've seen something like this online. I've been seeing this kind of around this whole, oh, not tonight, I have a headache. Not tonight, not feeling good. Oh, I'm, 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 on, I'm on my period. I just, look, I understand that you cannot have sex all the time when you're married. I understand that. Um, but I keep seeing this common trend where uh, women are just never wanting to have sex and much like this TikTok here, you know, he can't get lucky twice in one month. That's a big red flag. First of all, that he's getting lucky with his own wife and maybe more than once a month. That's kind of ridiculous. So that's the first thing. The second thing is I also don't like when women hold, you know, sex over their husbands like it's a, some kind of dog treat, you know, like, well, you know, maybe if you do all this, like he's not a dog, you know, um, he's not a dog. So we can stop doing that. But I know this isn't a huge issue for most couples. I was actually looking on Reddit for this sort of thing because this TikTok really just sparked a long rabbit trail. Uh, of discovery for me. I looked into Reddit and saw that most couples on average are having sex at least a couple times a week. And this was a huge range of couples, but that's generally what I saw on Reddit was about once a week. But I have seen some very few selective couples that were like, uh, like these screenshot here, just look at these. Um, let me see, I got these ones here, uh, two to three times a year, three times in the last two years. Uh, let's see every other month if I'm lucky Once every three to four months tops. I know this is a very specific case But I just want to talk about withholding sex from your partner from a biblical perspective And I know this is interesting coming from someone who is currently not married and has never been married But I see this enough and it frustrates me so much when I see these kind of jokes online So I just had to talk about it especially biblically now if you need any further evidence that this is an issue here are some kind of you know, millennial, a little bit older, kind of boomer memes, honestly. Uh, these two memes right here, a little bit boomer. But you get the point. This is a, this, I'm not making this up. I'm not making up this issue like, oh, women are having sex with their man. I'm saying some women, and then especially the women who kind of dangle it or withhold sex to manipulate their man in a way, I think that's terrible. Uh, this one man back in 2014 made a spreadsheet of every reason why he wasn't getting sex. And it seems like he was asking pretty much daily for two months, just about. And this is, he got it three times, three times in two months. And then there was a bunch of excuses. And before women, you come after me, I'm gonna talk to men too, okay? I'm gonna come for both men and women. So don't, don't, uh, don't start typing just yet because I will come after your men. Uh, some excuses such as I'm watching the show. I feel sweaty and gross. I need a shower. Didn't shower until the next morning. I'm exhausted. Still tender from yesterday. I'm trying to watch the movie. I'm too drunk and I ate too much. I won't have time to get showered and get dinner, uh, ready for dinner. I have to be up early. You're too drunk. I feel gross. I'm not feeling good. I'm sweaty and gross. I might be feeling sick. I don't feel hundred percent. I need a shower. I feel gross. I'm too tired. Okay. This is one specific example, which is why I know it doesn't define the rule. And this is where I'm going to come after men later on, but I, I just can't stand it. And especially seeing all these screenshots. Um, and then I found another TikTok, and this one was also pretty bad. So let's check out this TikTok. When your partner declines to have sex with you, they're not withholding anything from you because they don't owe you anything. You are not owed sex. So this lady goes on to say that we're not owed sex. You know, it, it doesn't matter how long you've been married. You don't, you don't deserve it. You're not owed it. It's not, that's a bunch of BS. It's obviously not biblical. I'm going to be reading a passage very soon about this, but I just, this was really frustrating to me. And as a single young man, this is kind of the thing 
that worries me about marriage is one, just the selfishness on both sides between men and women. But this is a, a, a core issue. You know, um, read some of these really actually based people that from that first TikTok we watched. Um, they said men generally need physicality to feel intimately appreciated. And you're telling him you hate him by communicating like this. That's true. Yeah, this is not funny. It's actually quite alarming that we think this is a healthy marriage. I don't understand why women think intimacy isn't important. My wife is the same. I get it twice a month if I'm lucky. I just feel sad for these people. I feel very sad because sex is what brings a married couple together. And I will come for men later. So don't don't just wait a second. Um, but there's actually a lot of people that were backing up this the original TikTok. They're like, oh, the, the excuses we use. Ha <laughs> ha. OMG. Hilarious. Hilarious. Brilliant. I use this a lot. Just all the laughing emojis, which is just kind of sick of all the of all the girls that are like, I withhold sex from my husband because, you know, not in the mood. And this is where I'll start getting into attacking men in just a second. But first of all, I just want to explain that I am tired of the selfishness that we have in this current culture. That is the reason why people are getting married later. I think the new average age for men is 30 and the new average age for women to get married is like 28 to 29 terrible we are literally hitting puberty earlier because of all the hormones in our food at like between 8 and 11 for girls and like you know 11 for boys to maybe 13 for boys boys will take a little bit longer but we're going through puberty sooner to waiting longer to have marriage and there's just you know that's an that's like 15 years of just this weird sexual frustration and it's all just selfishness it's all based on selfishness because marriage in and of itself is a very uh spiritual bonding intimate relationship that shows christ's love for the church it's it's an example of that so it's very spiritual and it's very um what's the word i'm looking for i can't remember it's um symbolism it's a symbol symbolism it symbolizes it marriage symbolizes the love that christ has for this church but biblically you're supposed to be having sex and quite frequently uh the bible actually describes when to not have sex so let me read this for you from my physical Bible right here. Physical Bible boy sponsored by the Bible. Go freaking read it. First Corinthians seven. Now concerning the matters about which you wrote, it is good for a man not to have sexual relations with a woman, but because of the temptation to sexual immorality, each man should have his own wife and each woman her own husband. The husband should give to his wife her conjugal rights and likewise the wife to her husband. For the wife does not have authority over her own body, but the husband does. Likewise, the husband does not have authority over his own body, but the wife does. Do not deprive one another of sex, except perhaps by agreement for a limited time, that you may devote yourselves to prayer, but then come together again, so that Satan may not tempt you because of your lack of self-control. Big thing there, self-control. So what I see from all these comments of like, oh, uh, you know, these people that are saying they haven't had sex in so long with their own spouse, guess what these people are going to do? Guess what these men are going to do? And they have done it before. You wonder why men cheat? This is why men cheat. It's simple. It's simple. Have sex with your man or he'll cheat. Now, I'm not an advocate of cheating at all. I'm a Christian. I would never do that. I think it's wrong. I think it's obviously a sin. You know, it's it's immoral. It's um, it, it's a problem. You can't be cheating. But I understand it for people who are not Christians. People who are not held to the higher standard that Christ set for us can't be expected to live by that standard. So they cheat. Um, so I, I, I think it's an issue. I think women should be having sex with their man and not be holding it against them, not withholding sex as some sort of manipulative thing. And I understand women have different sex drives and they view sex differently. I understand that, which is why I now want to attack men for the opposite side of this coin that we've made. Men, stop watching pornography. That is going to kill your relationship in bed with your wife. It's going to kill it. You're going to get porn-induced uh, erectile dysfunction. Porn-induced erectile dysfunction. Yeah. Uh, P-I-E-D. Porn-induced erectile dysfunction is a real thing. It's where you're looking at countless images of women a day, you're masturbating, and then you can't get it up with a real woman because the real woman doesn't doesn't come close to the fantasies that you've dreamed up in your brain. So men, stop watching porn. Also, be romantic with your wife. 
be romantic. That's, I, I mean, just be the man that she wants you to be. Be the man she wants you to be. Work out. Stop getting fat and lazy. Go to work. Work hard. Come home. Be a provider. Make her feel safe and loved. We know the Bible says wives respect your husbands. Husbands, love your wife. Listen to her. Talk to her. Take her out on dates. My dad, my entire life, as long as I can remember, has just randomly given my mom flowers often. So, men, it's time to be better. Um... I do think you are owed sex, you know, because that's one of the reasons for marriage is that you don't burn with lust for other people, but you burn with lust for your own wife. So, yeah, definitely be having sex, but also don't just – women aren't ready to go like men are sexually. They're not just ready to go anytime ever. So you got to warm them up, I guess, and I don't want to – get into any more of that remember i'm just a single guy take everything i say with a grain of salt i don't know what i'm talking about i just know what the bible says and i'm so pissed off from these tiktoks that i see of and, and these comments of people these women laughing about how they withhold sex from their husband and then they get shocked when he cheats on them so i'm tired of it i'm tired of the vicious cycle i think it needs to be broken and i think it can be broken because just stop just stop just stop love each other Pursue each other. Men, stop watching pornography. Stop uh, uh, being fat and lazy and stupid. Pursue your wife romantically. Women, uh, love your husband. Love your husband. Stop being selfish. The whole point of a relationship is to help each other. The, the, I, I don't even want to get into it because that's even longer, more, more anti-cultural conversation. But biblical marriage is for the purpose of showing off the symbolism of Christ and love for the church, which is a sacrificial love. Men are supposed to die for their wives. You're also supposed to raise up children, which is all requires selfishness. All of it requires selfishness. So that's all I got to say. Thank you guys for watching. Sorry for ranting, but I'm not sorry. I'm, I'm tired of it. Never mind. I'm not sorry for ranting. I'm not. I'm not.